Mm -hmm. Hi, pig. What's the name? I pick uh, the swashbuckler. What? The swash? Swashbuckler. Swashbuckler. Like swash. Swash, swash. Yep. I'm not familiar. I, I should have uh, looked uh, your character up, but I didn't really. He's butt okay. swashing. That's what he does. No. <laughs> swashing. Butts. I swashbuck. So I got the uh, fancy footwork and wreckish audacity. Sounds fancy. Oh la la. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> Do I have to explain it or? No, I think yeah, uh, we're just gonna discover it as um, as we go. Okay. And like if if like uh, I'm gonna rely on you guys to um. Uh, just know what your abilities are. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna fact check everything, uh, unless. So we I can make like things up. Yeah, unless I feel like you're making things up. But uh, yeah, no, because I um, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time, and also it's gonna be interesting to uh, just see everyone having new abilities uh, in combat and uh, stuff like that. So I'm gonna cast Arcanist Aura on the. Um... Uh, Cade every day for 30 days just so he looks on dead spells. So I can cast turn on dead on him after that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what? He stays away from you. A hundred halfling. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. Come here, little boy. <laughs> You're undead now. Well, in 30 days. No, he, he, he has just... to be a willing creature. Okay. Oh. Do I need to cast command before? Then <laughs> this seems highly complicated could, for no reason. It could just get away for one day, and then you have to start everything over again. Just for one day, okay. Just one day. Oh so no, that's that's just one additional spell. Plus, I got magic weapon, which is a good a good spell to have for um, clerics. Yeah. Oh no, that's not magic weapon. weapon. Spiritual weapon is yeah. wrong. Same, same, same difference. All right, let's get started. Um, so yeah, la last time uh, we were uh, on the adventure, you guys uh, still on your quest, uh, bringing back the supply from uh, Neverwinter. Um, and beat down some goblin on your way, came into Fandaline, uh, sold uh, most of the supply that you, you found out, uh, got mi mingled with some uh, thugs uh, in the town, um, uh, and then you killed some of them, you uh, went uh, to sleep uh, for the day after that, uh, Tamara heard something uh, happening downstairs on her uh, on her watch turn um, but when she tried to uh, go and see what it was uh, she was not noticed and uh, by what seemed like an intrusion attempt uh, and the people uh, fled immediately uh, leaving his tools behind um, after that everyone Wait, wait, talk, uh, eat breakfast, chat a bit, uh, and then you guys left the inn uh, to uh, go and inter interrogate the guy that you captured the day before. Um, adopting the group's uh, most efficient form formation, uh, that being Samat piggybacking uh, Fern, uh, you make your way on until Samat. Uh, Samat Keen eyes spot a flash resembling the reflection of the sun on metal. Um, quickly alerting everyone, an arrow very well shot still find, uh, found its way in Samat's shoulder. Tamara immediately took a charge at an impressive speed. Then Cade uses uh, use Fern and Samat as a ladder 
interrupting Senat spells in the process to get on a roof uh, and get a, as close as possible uh, to do an impressive shot on uh, the, the assassin. Um, Firm a, a, attempted to slide uphill uh, and shoot, shoot an arrow that will eventually uh, let the sniper go by knocking out Tamara's well-placed stone throw. Um, the sniper gets away uh, and uh, Stemat uh, finally shrug off, shrug off some uh, vertigo out of sheer anger and will. And you guys make your way uh, to go let out some steam on the poor Peter. Um, it was just uh, the beer. It was the carrot. Yes, of course, the carrots. Uh, after some hard, hard interrogation, you succeed in uh, completely break, breaking the wheel uh, of the brigand, and then good, in, uh, and you manage to get good information. Uh, out of it, uh, mainly that uh, there was some beast uh, in uh, the manor uh, alongside with the, the ruffians and the the, the, uh, the red brands. Um, that there was a secret entrance and also a one-eyed beast uh, in the mansion. After um, after bringing it on uh, Sildar, you all make your way to the inn. Uh, you feed Peter and consider your next move. So, uh, what do you guys want to do at this point? Prepare our next move. I want to go see if there's all only one eye on the beast. No, actually, if we can, we can... Um... Uh, we can go see the secret entrance that Peter is going to kindly provide for us. Right now? Wasn't he going to draw something? Like to draw a map? Wasn't he going to do that? No, I think he said uh, he's going to just show us the way. Yeah, because he sucks That's at it. drawing anyway. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, I can show it to you guys, but I'm poor at drawing, but even the poorest drawing could help you guys at this point, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, but you said you can show us. We're good? Yeah, but I mean, you guys are going in bl blind. Uh, just the interest won't give you guys much of, like, preparation. And just to be uh, clear, like I'm, I'm, I haven't been in the Red Brands for that long, so I don't live in the manor. Uh, I live in town and pretty much spend my time in uh, the um, the other inn uh, in the town, the Sleeping Giant. So uh, there may might be like I don't know everything in the manor, but. I can certainly give an idea. It's far. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tell me, uh, it, uh, where are we right now and what's going on? Uh, you inn? guys are in. Yeah, you guys are at the inn. Uh, it's uh, pretty busy right now. You have uh, uh, Peter at the table. Sildar is also there. Uh, you got some food uh, for Peter. Um, some of you also took some ale, and uh, I think you had bacon. bacon. I always have bacon. Bacon is an important meal of the day. Uh, other than that, like there's uh, there's other uh, villager and other people in the inn. Um, it's like I said, it, it's pretty uh, much lunchtime uh, at this time, so uh, it's busy. There's people talking, eating, drinking. That's right, lunchtime. So we can go tonight? To with these guys? Maybe. 
Well, lunchtime is like before noon or? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much at noon. At noon. Well, I don't know. There's two ways to handle it. Um, because we're going against a bunch of brigands and um, they operate probably at night. So even going at night, they're. I don't think it's going to be much of a surprise is at any part of the day that we're going to go. So. So let's go now. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's always a good option to go with a belly full of bacon. Someone, someone was I didn't have to bacon. To use his, this bill. His new spell. <laughs> no. Oh. I don't know. Does he have to sleep for that? Because we're fine. I mean... We're fine? Mm. Mm. Oh, Rip. No. No, he is. <laughs> Anyway. He just did. <laughs> he just did. <laughs> that just... I'm sorry. I say we so take sorry. care of it uh, as I'm soon sure as possible are, before they actually uh, they can come up with a plan. Strike them quick. Strike them hard. Well, Real hard. Probably try to attack us again at night. Yeah, probably. Since... I, so, if we, if we don't I think go we now, should go we, now. Yeah, let's go now. Everyone agrees? Yes. Seldor, you can take care of Peter. No, Peter is coming with us. Seldor is fine with the... Uh... Seldor, can you take care of Peter on the way back from the manor after? Uh, you guys want me to come with you? Just to the so secret entrance. Bring him back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Perfect. We got a babysitter for Peter. Can you hear the music? We do. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't really need a babysitter. <laughs> it's just a figure of speech. I'm a big guy. I can hold, hold my own. It's more like yeah, a... that's why he joins rednecks. Well, I mean, they don't take pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once I'm in a while they do, but not officially. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> like you said. And Selder uh, is fine? Selder, you're fine with your uh, hit points? Seldor is not gonna join us. He just, he just comes with us to no, the secret uh, door. Ah! Simat! <laughs> Wait. Everybody's ready to go, yeah? We are ready to go. We're all in great shape. I, I'm you, always ready. Your hit points are, are fine and everything? My points and my hits and all this stuff. Is what all what are hit points? I don't oh, know what is hit okay, points. What is that? Your life, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in Say great it. shape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, out of character, we're all at 31 hit, po hit points? Wow. Yep. Yeah. And how, how, how do I have as much hit point as a freaking halfling? <laughs> okay. I'm not squishy. He rolled eights. He oh. rolled two eights. I still remember that. Kevin was like, you're bullshitting. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, no, you told me to re-roll. Then I re-rolled eight. <laughs> It was like, ah, god damn you. <laughs> All right. So let's head out. And I get up. I'm going to so exit. We're going in uh, with, with the uh, little boy. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll follow you guys. Uh, the ju just don't <clears throat> the just don't get into, uh, you know, traps and everything. Me. Maybe we should send the the little teeth ahead. See how he likes. You mean those you mean doors. Peter or you mean Cade? 
No, 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 no. Peter is uh he's a redneck. Yep. All right, Peter, lead the way. All right. Uh follow me. Um Can we sing a song so on the way? Like I ho, I ho. You can start from home do. to work we go. <laughs> so what what's the marching order? I'm uh, so Peter. Uh, yeah, Peter. Peter. I'll be car. I'll be marching behind Peter because I got perception. I'll be uh, I'm gonna be behind uh, Samat. I would put Sildor in the back, totally. All right. So if we All look right. at like that, it does like a tiny pyramid like that. Beep. <laughs> yep. So you guys are you guys start making making your way. Toward uh, the manor using the main road? The secret entrance. I don't know where does the secret entrance oh. lead. Is it down the main road? Um, that's well, the... uh, Peter, <laughs> where, how, which, which way are we going? Because we shouldn't just go like on the main road just like that. We should actually try to be sneaky a little bit. Just not saying like. Yeah. Yeah, for the purpose of uh, of this, uh, he's gonna uh, lead you guys uh, around and uh, make his way like in uh, in the field towards and the the I, forest we have over there. Are we moving uh, near the uh, the tomb of Pete's friends? No. The, the tombs are like all the way kind of uh, back down there. Okay, maybe it would be helpful made... if I could plug in <laughs> to roll 20. Okay, so <laughs> it's not it's not close. So we're moving ahead. I'm making a, a I'm keeping my eyes open. All right, make a perception check. What if I say no? Bruh. How many roll? Uh, how many 24. dice are you rolling? <laughs> right. are, are you done? Yep. <laughs> Twenty-four. All right. Um. So yeah, you, you keep a very keen eye uh, uh on everything that is happening in the street. Uh, looking in the bushes to not get uh, surprised again by some arrows flying your way uh, or any other uh, stuff. And you guys uh, make your way um, all the way to like the forest and uh, you don't notice anything uh, harmful, anything that, uh, uh, yeah, that, 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 that could be a threat to you guys. So, um, Do I see any any of those rednecks lying around, shitty people, like people knowing actually that we're like seeing us going into their hideout. Uh, no, uh, like on your way there, uh, going to the forest, you didn't meet meet any other red friends, and uh, at the forest there's nobody else. Like there, it's not like in town where there's uh, other people. Uh, you spot, uh, uh, like, um, some wildlife, a rabbit, some birds, but you don't see any uh, red brands or any uh, other trap. Great, now I'm hungry again. All right. It's uh, quiet. So, uh, Peter, bring you to, like, the edge. So in the forest, right to the um, uh, to the side of the the wall, and uh, there's some bushes that uh, he kind of uh, left, like he, he, he raised and removed, and it reveals an, an entrance, and that's where the uh, hidden entrance is. Okay, and and like. Just as you do that, there's some like 
uh, there's uh, some not win, but just a, a small um, small draft. A small draft that comes to to you guys, and it, it smells like uh, rot and uh, death. Oh, what is you that? See that smell? Is that your garbage disposal or what? No, I mean, I told you guys the uh, the one eye beast. It it just feeds on stuff that is dead. So, I mean, the 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 tunnel leads directly to where it is, and he he probably fed on some stuff and left some to rub. It always smells like that. Uh, just a question, Pete. <clears throat> I'm trying not, not to make the voice that I did. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> just a question, Pete. Um, you think that that one-eyed beast? You feel like uh, it would have a good charisma? <laughs> That's it. What? <laughs> But okay, I got my on. answer. I'm just, I'm just asking. <laughs> hey. You're our guide. Is there Nobody any is. way so we far? can avoid the one-eyed beast? Well, I mean, we all try to avoid it. It's, it's, it's not cool to be around. He has ways uh -huh. that just make you feel weird and. Yeah, everyone just wants to pass by like as quick as possible, or avoid it, and he, he leaves us alone. Uh, I think last staff made some deal with him. He keeps him fed and he guards the entrance. Maybe we should have taken some of those red scarf, but hey, we're there. Just, just so you know, uh, Pete. Uh, you, you kind of got one star out of five so far. So if you could tell us a bit more detail about where we're going, and it would be pretty great. Well, I I told you guys I could draw something or try something, and we just left. Hey, right, you're right. But you said you I mean, suck I'm, at drawing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be helpful. I suck, but I mean, I can draw a square and tell... And this this part of the square is that, and this part of the square is that. Like I mean, well, now's your chance. Take a branch, do it in the dirt. Now you want to do it here. <laughs> 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 now you guys want me to do it here? It's gonna be even worse. You sure about that? All right, let's go back to the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I might have something. Does anyone have like, I don't know, parchment or ink, something that would be better than just a stick in the ground? I uh, I got pressed to the cheat. <laughs> I got that spell that does weird things. Uh, you know that uh, her. Bird destination. What about? Uh, I, I, well, I, I can, uh, you know, and I'm and casting presentation, just drawing kind of a treaty, like a a, a a square cube, and just and seeing like, and then trying to represent visually like where we're at, you know, like a treaty map, hologram. Oh, but arcane no. stuff, you know. <laughs> Let's see, we're here. Wow. What's next after that? Just, just tr describe me with words, and I'll take care of the drawing with my plus one performance. Um, Sorry, I'm meta gaming. It's all. <laughs> 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 so you, you guys are wizards, wizards also. Uh, no, no wizards here. Nope, no, we're not, no we're wizards, not wizards. 
Nope. I've never seen anybody else do that kind of shit except wizards. Well, you ain't seen much. Ah. Uh, I, I might have discovered myself talk. a few spells too. Out of discovered spells. <laughs> I just got like super smart. You, you pulled that out of your ass. Yep. It hit I me. just took a shit and it inspired me and uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're a wizard without parchment. What kind of wizards are you? I, uh, we're going to have time to talk tonight, Kit. And I'm patting him on the shoulder and just, like, just tell me where we're going, you know, and I'll, I'll take care of the drawing, fancy drawing. Um, Kitty, your, your webcam crashed, I believe. I don't know you're, if I'm the only I one. Him. But... Yours Do you crashed see him? Me. Oh, God damn it. No, actually... All and Juliana's webcam also crashed. No, for me, everything's fine. <laughs> but does he I'm move? Good. Have you seen him move? For me, the yeah. only one who doesn't move is Kiryu. Bruh. No, goddamn. <laughs> so something oh, no. crashed. <laughs> uh, Mac Gaming. Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet moves. <laughs> I, from Ma the Max, camera, you're still Max, frozen, if you're talking, though. we don't hear you. I'm not talking. Oh, yeah, but... you're talking now. Um, so you just want me to point on the cube and, like... Yeah, describe stuff to me. Well, what's it like? Oh, uh, is it deep? Uh, uh, is it one room, then corridors? You know, describe it. And we, we yeah. can fast forward that roleplay just to simulate that we had kind of a pen and paper so <laughs> you know i don't know if you want to draw it on roll 20 or how do you how do you want to do this well my idea was that you guys <laughs> figure out to get some oh we would draw it we would draw it you want us to draw it no, well i i i sure we can, can shave the cube but you, do, do you guys see on Road Journey? I yep. moved you guys to. Uh, uh, so my, my idea was to use parchment when you guys talked about drawing something. So okay. uh, I, I prepared this, but then. Um, so yeah, uh, for for roleplay, uh, I'll have, <laughs> I'll have Semat draw because <laughs> you're drawing on your. Um, <laughs> What are you guys doing? <laughs> we ruined it. <laughs> yeah, I'll add, I'll add some that draw because uh, you're drawing with magic, but uh, we can use that as a medium. Magic. Wait, I cannot delete the other ones. Well, if you want to draw, it's okay. Mm -mm. What are you doing? You started that. All right. So <laughs> nice. You want to describe it to me, and I and I draw. Is that the is that the the thing? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. Well. So. Yeah, you said. All right. Let's just say that there's one entrance here. All right. We're making good progress. So what's next? Yeah. So um, the, that's the you just from the secret entrance. You're gonna end up with in the biggest room, and it, there's a big crevasse in the middle, and the beast oh. is in that room. There's also right, so big room, crevasse like uh, like like this. <laughs> is it west west to east or? No. South to north. Thought Control Z worked. Didn't Control Z worked on that? <laughs> I don't. Uh, sh that's got. That's gonna be a long night. All right. <laughs> When's next? <laughs> so how? Where is it? Like he does. 
um, it's going to be when you enter. Uh, when you enter, it's going to be on your uh, on your right. The, the, yeah, but the, you said there's a crevice. The crevice is n north, south, or east, west. North, south. No, it's out. All right, all right. That so that's it. I'm I'm good now. What's next? No, it's on the beast. No, it, it, I said it's gonna be on your right when you enter. Uh, fuck. <laughs> so the other right. Oh shit. So like this. All right. What's next? There's two, there's two um, uh, bridges across the crevasse. Uh, one close to the door and another a bit farther. And then um, right. it kind of leads to, uh, like there's three room on, um, on the on the left. Three rooms. Yeah. Doors or a hallway? Sorry. Is there are there doors or a hallway? Yeah, I mean there's always and there's doors, but I mean you want to draw everything that's gonna take forever. That's three rooms. That that's why I asked you to do a map last time we met. I was gonna do it. You guys never gave me parchment. I don't have any. You're glad I'm chewing on bacon, son. And I'm closing the, that kind of map. I, uh, so where's the beast? We cut the bridges or what? The, the beast is on which side? I don't know. It's usually hidden. Oh, it's hidden. It, is it? It's, so it's small. Well, yeah, it's it's not big. It's just great. Human well, everything's big to me, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's go. Um, does some does someone want to go yeah. first? And we should probably try to go undetected. Like with a lantern? Not with a lantern. Enough with the lantern. Hey, Pete, do you think you can go and distract that beast? Since it doesn't touch you, maybe you could distract it. You know, uh, I got still, I still got that chicken. Maybe Kate, cave. maybe Kate can enter uh, at first. Because he have a high stealth, and uh, just see where is the beast, and we can enter after him. Is it like dark or? Sorry, is it well, dark? It's made so that humans can go through. So uh, I wouldn't think it's dark. Okay. So don't. So break I'm gonna. Lantern. I'm gonna hide and slowly enter. Well, where would you go? <laughs> Just kidding. Me too. Uh, I'm uh, gonna try to go a uh, little bit after him. Stealthily. Stealthily. For what my stealth is worth. And then I got 16. I'm going behind the horse. No. Oh my god, I got a 2. 16. Yo, what the hell? Why? Why what? Did you just uh, two seconds? One, two. Yeah, but Where's when this? I roll for stealth, I roll as a disadvantage since I have um, chainmail. Chainmail. And you know what chainmail does? Chain sound. Um. See? See? I, I forgot to bring you guys uh, back over. You need. You just need to draw, drag the uh, the little flag. 
Yeah, but I mean, it, it doesn't bring your character over. Oh, you can copy paste. Yeah, I know, but uh, over. I I didn't put your um. Bring my character. Like your new um. Health points and stuff like that. Bleh. But uh, we can take care of that. Yeah. Give me, like I said, just two seconds. Okay. Time's up. Um. All right. Bringing you guys over. <coughs> Can you guys see? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's all black for me. Well, you have to look in the There's a small... Part. There's a small bottom. But... Oh, okay. Zoom in, zoom in. Uh, zoom out? And zoom out, zoom yeah. out. Just update uh, at least your alt and AC if it changed. Oh boy, my and... HP is a uh, 9. AC? No, AC is still... Uh... I you can give 16. you my stealth. Stealth is 2 there. That's what... <laughs> That's what you rolled, too? Yep. No, I rolled 18. Disadvantage, too. <laughs> so. Why did you roll with disadvantage? I have chainmail. Oh. Armor. Oh. <laughs> yeah, true. Bling, bling! Yep. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> I got it far. Oh, you're That's all... gonna be uh, funny. But uh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit further cage so it doesn't like blow his cover but uh... um, right. Whoop. All right. Why can't I? Why can't you? Control Z. Shit. Wait a minute, guys. I come back. All right. All right. Okay. You're frozen, uh, Juliana. No, she left. Maybe she's gone. What did you, Fern? What's up? You put, uh, you, you put your alt in the wrong one. Are you sure? Okay. So what's our AC in this? The blue? Yeah, it's the blue. What's oh. six? You what's the middle six. one? Uh, it's self. Uh, well, usually I use it for other worlds. Storing uh, anything uh, like hmm. a stealth roll or uh, something nice. else, something else. Like me, I'm a big two. But <laughs> Stop moving! <laughs> you, you have a bar now. Because you put zero. Ba, 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 ba. Alright, fix that. Si tu me tires une flèche, tu pourras plus jamais bouffer une salade. <laughs> what? <laughs> sure, sure, makes sense. <laughs> I just noticed that I'm in front of the elf. I had to say it. Uh, <laughs> 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 you never listen to it, uh, Alex. You don't, you don't get the reference. No. It's a uh, Donjon de Nalbuck. Man, if you've never listened to it, you need to listen to it. It's, mm -hmm. it's a gem. 
C'est le François Pérus français de... It's the François Pérus... French François Pérus of D&D. I'm gonna quit now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you see, Cade? And I do shing, 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 shing. Do I see I something? The, the, does the Sorry. room open up? Um, no, oh. yeah, give me. Kate's going alone, right? I'm following. Far, far ahead. Yep, a bit ahead, yeah. Right. So, yeah, you, uh, as you enter... Um... Question, where's Pete? Still oh, he, he, he stayed behind with um, Silder. Mm -hmm. they're, they're gonna go back. If you guys decide to, uh, to go in... Peter and Sildar is going, are going to go back to town. No, no, we're mm. going to go in and leave uh, leave the wusses out. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so as you enter, uh, a cold breeze fills uh, this large natural cavern, carrying with it the faint scent of decaying flesh. A crevasse divides the cavern and is flanked by two rough stone columns that support the 20-foot high ceiling. Two arched wood bridge span the chasm. Um, so, yeah. You... Or you could just show us the map. Yeah, I... So that's you... what you see. It's lit by, like, some oil lamps. Uh, very f like y y you see, but it's kind of dim dim light uh, right now, especially in uh, in this big room. Uh, can I move forward to see uh, in this part of the room, or do we see anything? And I want to see uh, in this part, see if I see something. I mean, uh, well, Kate is in front. Uh, I think Kate, oh. uh, are you ma you? Are you making your way in, or are you just looking inside? I'm gonna slowly walk the left wall, following it to try to stay hidden. Okay. He's gonna uh, walk the line. <laughs> Why is there a rectangle there? Happen. Happen. Where are you going? We lost, we lost K. I, I, I don't know. K, <laughs> Is there something there? <laughs> <laughs> the black so, void. It's so, a yeah. sci-fi adventure after all. You <laughs> went through so the dark here, portal. Never return. Uh, there's actually a, a corridor. Okay. So, uh, are you do you want to go peek in the corridor or you want to uh try and perceive uh in the room or fern i don't know what, what are you guys doing hmm i'm staying back why uh, i'm going to i was waiting for you to advance <laughs> Uh, the kid do his work. I mean, he, he likes doing it. That's the only thing he does. He's got one job. He's still go ahead. Let him do his thing. Uh... Do like this to say much. And I continue. <laughs> I, 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 I never saw your movement because your screen is frozen. <laughs> like, oh, yes. Oh. Uh... I'm gonna use perception to see if something in the room catch my attention. Okay. Go perception check. Perception. 
Fourteen. Um. All right. So, uh, looking around uh, the dim light uh, face, um, you like you don't see anything down the crevasse as you walk in. Uh, you see uh, you see the bridge that seems like uh, very not uh, secure but uh, still functioning and uh, you catch a glimpse of uh, something behind uh, this column which column uh this one what is one am i not seeing the one you're pointing i'm not seeing oh wait we don't see that this going. One. Oh. Okay. What do we see? You just uh, catch a glimpse of something like uh, a tail or uh, something like um, not human. But humanoid. Okay, did you see something? Yeah, there seemed to be something behind the rock. Uh, the. Uh, the wall? So and, um, I guess if there's something and... behind the wall means it's probably the creature Peter told us about. The one-eyed beast. I'm gonna move a little you think? towards the bridge to try to peek behind the pillar. With my stealthy self. And uh, at, at, at this point, you you hear something in, uh, like, you, you hear a whisper, but you kind of feel like the whisper is not coming from your ears, but really uh, just something resonating in your head. To you. Another... Give me your secrets. Oh, uh, no, uh, no. Somebody what just realized you? something. Miss Gizmay to fuck you. And do I hear like, it too? Does everybody hear it or does it? Who hint? heard it? Yeah. No, it's just a uh, fern at this point. So I'm gonna back out. <laughs> and uh... something, something is uh, speaking to me in my mind. It's like telepathy. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Either you're cursed, or you're going crazy, or you're becoming the. Uh... A cleric like me. Ah! It, it continues to uh, to speak in your head. You're not from the red grass. You cannot come here. Can I reply to it? Leave. Well, I mean, you can speak. How about no? We seek passage. Well, if that's the case, hold you brought back. Brought what? Brand. Bread? Brand. Brand? Who's Brand? Not brand. Trent. We have a chicken. <laughs> I got the chicken. <laughs> Simat, can I borrow a chicken? As an offering? Sure. <laughs> and I'll throw <laughs> it at you. <laughs> I, I, I'll take it? I'll take the chicken and do like oh. Hovering for a safe passage, a chicken. 
Druids Underground. I'm gonna um, throw it towards you, you, the... And you can fa uh, you can make um um uh, persuasion check. Oh boy. <laughs> sure. Get a fourteen. Wait, 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 wait. Persuasion uh 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 no sixteen, my bad. Sixteen. You see um a clod like and like very rough scaled just like reach out behind the um the uh behind the, the column here and grab the chicken and you start hearing Oh shit, go 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 and I'm I'm like pushing you guys towards uh the past the bridge. Well no this this bridge is rickety so we it, it, oh, if then plausible we wait we moved past it maybe I, I, so i'm the, gonna the try to go first and i'll try to go towards that do you see my markers uh can you mm -hmm. uh, the key, yep the key i do here, right yes so quick, if you... quick, 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 but... quick follow me it's eating a chicken uh, <laughs> i hate those bastards okay and, uh, so as we you, see as the you... key? yeah as you pass by, uh, you you see um, we want a vision. You see you see the creature on um, right yeah, next to the, the column. Beast. What I beast! It is, and uh, it is just like frenetically eating the chicken, like and everything, like the bones, everything. Uh, I tr I, I throw some bacon away. Just just in case. <laughs> All right. So you you guys make your way uh all the way here. Do we cross the, well, yes. do, what do we see basically? Yeah. What do we see once I there? reach here, I'm gonna try to peek around the corner or peek, well, peek towards the room. So I'm um, basically here, but I want to peek. And wait, what? There's another room here, right? That's another so like. So in the in that case, Kevin, do you do you use use the per, passive perception, or do should we do the active perception to like look around, like see? Uh, well, here uh, as you make your way, I'll just reveal uh, more stuff that you should be able to see. So, so how about uh, here, like the rest of the map. Here, yep. here. I want to see everything. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, the stairs we see over here goes downstairs. Sorry. That hmm. goes downstairs yeah. here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is it a wall or is that a is wall it? or it's another room? Sorry. Here. That. Here, here, here. There is a wall. Here. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. So maybe we should go here. Oh, okay. And is that a wall or it's another part of the room? Not quite sure. It's another room. Okay. The exit probably. I think the I think logically the uh I think a lot guys logically the entrance would the real entrance maybe where it the hidden passage would be know what i mean you got the main entrance but the important stuff is always kept in the back the back store like the good meat is always kept in the back of the inn so friend, uh, as you uh step on the bridge it just collapsed under your feet nice <laughs> I'll try to grab what I can from oh, the main bridge. Um, so you, um, bridge. Oh, that's why the bridge is there. But but you said that bridge was safe or looked safe. Not safe. It was that. No, uh, I I said, I said this one was uh, uh like not the most secure but uh, functional. 
I didn't really say anything about uh, that one. I just say that you can see another one at the top. Ah, uh, poo. So um, I tried to grab. Shit. This I can. Uh, I'm gonna go and try to uh, grab and as well. Pushing the alpha side. Yeah. I tried. I tried to help right. too, but I don't know in in what. Uh, point of the bridge he is he's in the another no i'm on this bridge? side as soon as i stepped on it collapsed so yeah okay so um in our side. I'm I'm so, my little hand. so i try to help him too that's a rope make, it, make it this dexterity check with dexterity check? okay no uh oh. just 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 firm because uh you guys are trying to help him okay. um E, 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 e. Oh shoot! Oh, wow. How deep is it? Twenty feet. Okay, this one just went too I far. I don't that. even know what it is. Uh, I'll have dexterity. Is it eleven? Uh, you you fall. You you. You guys were just talking about what you guys were uh, you know, were thinking of doing, and uh, Fernie just uh, blindlessly walked on the the bridge, and it collapsed under your foot, uh, under your feet, and uh, like Tamara and uh, Sema tried to uh, reach to you and grab you before you fell, but uh, they weren't quick enough, and you fall down. You take two d six of bludgeoning damage. As you fell down. Oh, fuck. How deep is it? Oh, I'm so I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Wait, sorry. We try. Uh, yeah, two D six. Six. Four. Um. So you you got four? Yes. Total. Yeah, That's good. Two these six, two twos. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, someone have some rope? I do. You okay there, uh, yeah. Burn? Uh, what is the question? Yeah, I'm good. I might yeah, have twisted good. my ankle, but uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Can uh, anybody like, uh, send me a rope the, or something? You did the bottom of the pit, uh, you, like, it's riddled with, like, bone and rotting stuff that uh, are just very advanced. And there's also a, a body that you see in the bottom of the pit that seems to be fairly hidden uh, and r rotting away um, for the rest. So probably some of the food that was given to the creature that he... Uh, pretty much eat at all. Okay. It's uh, cold. I'm a rope. Do Do I see any anything particular? Like, does it have a red brand, or it's just a commoner, or it's um. I mean, make a perception check. Uh, perception 11. Um, seems like, uh, you, you, you don't even see any, in fact, you, the body doesn't have any clothing, so it was stripped away, and, uh, right now it's just rotting and heat and, heat, heat and body, so, okay. uh, you can't really tell anything about it. But you do notice uh, at the bottom of uh, the crevasse, just looking around and, uh, and noticing the body, you also uh, see a chest down there. Chest? Uh, is it far from a wooden okay. chest. I, I, see, I see him saying that and I'm saying, hey, it, it, it ain't no time for no looting, boy. That guy is pretty much done with the chicken. We need to go. Let's come back afterwards. Go! 
All right, all right. I, Keep in I mind, guess, there's a wooden chest in here. I guess um, I have something that calls a uh, fog cloud. So it's like a. It's a like fog a cloud. cloud of, exactly. A fog. Uh, around uh, 120 feet around us. That's a big fog. Yeah. So if the creature finish his thing, so he can't see us. He cannot see us. But we are cannot see. Are you preparing an action, either? maybe? So you prepare an action when the beast finishes with the chicken. You cast for cl yeah. for cloud. Exactly. It's not done yet. No. All right. Um. Do I so have a rope boat. to go back up? Yeah, I, th I threw a rope. Well, I'm going Help up you. the rope. Thanks for the rope. I'm coming up. I I helped uh, Sema to just bring it up. I helped with the rope. Didn't need that, but thanks. All right. So yeah, you you make your way up easily. Like the uh, the the edge of the walls for the crevasse are like not that steep, and uh, there's a lot of uh, place that you can grab on. So you could have made your way without a rub, uh, without right, issue. Let's go down side. Let's go where? Down. Down stairs. Did yeah. I say down side? Yeah, yeah, you said yep. down down side. I think our only options we have now is basically there. If we don't want to stay in the same room as the, the yep, yep, yep. Our, our I agree, friend. I agree, I agree, and I'm going. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm going I'm uh, particularly. Uh, Kate, Kate, do you want to go first? Really like the creature. You're yeah, yeah, first. Um, yep. You're a bit better than me on the. the DM, the... what can we see? Oh, there's a door. <laughs> So at this point, uh, you you reach the bottom and there's two doors, uh, one on your left and one on your right. You don't know how hard it is not to quote Nahal book right now. <laughs> Biting my tongue. Um. So the doors are um like normal wooden doors. Let the rogue find the traps. Oh my I do that. <laughs> so it works. You let that sound. Do you have detect? Do you, you want to go? So what? Uh, what are you doing? I'm. Hit the doors for. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. The door. Can I'm we hear tap. anything coming from the doors? Can I hear anything coming from the doors? Are you moving close to the door and uh, trying to listen? Close enough. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'm going to tap on uh, Cade's shoulder. I'm going to whisper in his ear. You know, kid, it, it's been a pleasure working with you. Even if, if you're not a big talker, I know that you're 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 gonna die. Well, take it from a cleric of uh, of of the dead, and I'm gonna. That's that's guidance. I, I cast him guidance. All right. What does the guidance do again? It's he uh... has one d four on the next ability check, or in the next ability check. What? Yeah. To, can roll the uh, okay. Before the spell ends, so it lasts up to one minute, he can add a d4 to an ability check of his choice. So it's not necessarily the next one, it's of his choice. All right. So who's doing what? Uh, uh, is Fern going to the door and listening, or is Kate that's going and do whatever? Where'd he go? Um... Is there any opening we can see uh, on the doors, or...? Well, I mean, you, you have to uh, go to the doors and make your perception check to see that. Can I go to the door and make my perception check? Yes. I need to stop rolling that much. I have... Uh, 18. Um, well, the, the doors are uh, like full, so there's uh, no way to see inside. 
but you do hear a lot of uh, ricus inside uh, the room to your uh, left. So you you hear people like uh, just talking, uh, not not screaming, but loudly talking and uh, uh, like uh, stuff on the table rattling and moving and uh, yeah, almost like an in. Uh, kind of sound. Can I make? Uh, can I guess how many there is in the room? Um. Well, uh, with your perception check, uh, I would say you're like it, it's not a whole lot, uh, but it's like more than two. You you can know that. Okay. So um, it seems uh, I'm gonna you tell that to the group. It seems there's a lot of people in there, at least two, probably more. And I don't, I'm not picking up anything from the other room. So we check out the other room, then we come back in case there's nothing or. Well, um, so actually in the other room, you, uh, you, you hear faint bubbling and dripping sounds. Bubbling and rippling. Dripping sounds. He's still hungry. He he he's still hungry. Ah, oh. <laughs> I think we ain't got a choice, guys. So in this room, there's bubbling sounds. In this room, or behind That's us, voice. or in the other room. No, there's so, voice uh, there. So in this room, oops. This room is the one that uh, you hear that sounds like uh, a hint. Uh, yeah. pe pe people talking, and this one is uh, the bubbling and uh, dripping sounds. But what is bubbling and and dripping? Yeah, I know. Like I know a... what is bubbling and dripping, but dripping. Like a kitchen. Like, well, yeah, I was thinking in the. Well, we can uh, enter. How about, how about the kid go and see? Well, he's uh, <laughs> is, uh, you is know, the door, invisible. Is the door locked? If, uh, I try, just to, if I'm trying to open the door, what does it do? Well, I mean, are you trying to open the door <laughs> or you want to check? Wait, should we look for trap or anything? I don't know. I don't have anything like to look for said. traps or anything, so no. You are the rogue. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I move under his leg and look for the right door to see if <laughs> there is a trap. All right. Yeah, I can uh, do yeah, make an investigation check. Investigation. Investigation. I want to use the plus four. Do I have to say it before? You can you can make the roll and decide to add the d4 if you want to after that or not. Uh, but it's before the ADM announces if this is success or failure. So I had the d4. Like uh, bardic inspiration. Up eight. Eight. Um. Well, you you, uh, you don't find any uh, traps, and uh, the door doesn't uh, doesn't appear to be locked at all. Can I safely go in, Cade? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any trap, and the door's not locked. So, so I'm gonna open the door slowly and peek inside. <laughs> And what? Peek inside. All right. Um, where is my... So as you, um, give me two seconds. What's in the, the what's in the middle of the room? It's a kitchen, right? 
So you uh you hand you enter and uh you just peek inside. Uh this room appears to be a wizard's work workshop. Oh, okay. uh, there's a rat uh, scurrying across the floor, uh, and it takes refuge under the large work table uh, set up with a alembics, retort, distillation coils, and other alchemical devices. All of it is stewing and bubbling away. Bookshelves are crowded uh, with sheaves of parchment and strange looking tomes. And Can I do a perception check for uh, finds potions or something that uh, we what? can the rat? take it? Should we kill the rat? Okay, I think it's Glass Staff Slayer and there's a there's a rat <gasps> in the room. It's a I'm, big rat or a I'm little gonna rat? I'm going to take my crossbow shoot the rat. Take an attack roll. Um, you really need to kill the rat. I mean, there's a freaking big rat in the room. It's just weird. Okay, it could be glass staff. Uh, I have uh, <laughs> sixteen. The rat is glass staff. <laughs> sixteen. How? How much? Sixteen. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it. It's uh one d eight. Which one? Is Even it? taking out some stuff. I don't like that at all. I'm taking out a fly from my scotch. Your your camera is frozen. Who? By the way. Mine? What yeah. camera? <laughs> Why did we all start dancing? <laughs> camera check, camera check. Who's frozen? Camera, check, Who's, camera frozen? check. Who's frozen? Nobody except uh, for Froom for me. Or Sunday. Oh no! Uh, 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 on my side, everyone's good. There's a uh, Dion. Dion is lagging a bit, but oh, there's cricket. Oh no! Yeah. Uh, I uh, wait. I have a seven plus one, so eight so points eight. of damage for a rat. All right. Um, so you you enter the room and uh, shoot the rat. Uh, and it, like the the bolt just like pierced through it, and it just vanishes. I got I got the magic rat. It vanish. That's bad. So I would say that rat was probably someone's. Whoa, wait. <laughs> Peekaboo. Somebody just peeked a boo. <laughs> Where's the guy? Spoilers! Oh, <laughs> I was thinking, oh my god. I guess you guys can, can see that. So... <laughs> I never saw it. My, my idea is that rat belonged to someone. So everybody get in the room, close the door. It's uh, a fake rat. Yeah, it vanished when I shot it, so. I'm going to a perception check for a fine potions or something. So, uh, would you say that the furniture in the middle, the, 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 the wizard's craft table, crafting table, uh, can it be moved? A little. Um. Well, yeah, it, it's a table, so yeah, it can be moved. It's not bolted to the ground. Okay. Uh, Tara, you said eleven for a perception check. Yeah, eleven. Uh, so you go through um the like the materials in the room. Uh, most of it doesn't seem to be like available. It's mostly bottles uh, uh with stuff in it and uh like glass thingy and uh books and stuff like that um you can make an intelligence check see if you recognize any uh component or anything that is in there yeah you intelligence 
Yep. While she does that, I'm gonna take the table. And put it Thor, eleven. Put it on the door. So it blocks the door that we just came in. Uh all right. Well, she's she's looking on the table as you do that. Don't worry. I, I I'll be careful to move it and I slowly move it towards the door. Alright. Um so you um you, you find like Mercury uh that you know is like more some um like it, it's kind of rare uh region um so you if you want to keep it you can yes i want to it's in the bottle yeah it's a bottle of mercury okay bye she goes <laughs> did you find a freddy with that mercury well, we well, can. While they are doing that, can I, can I do a ritual and guess the tech magic? It takes ten minutes. If it, I, I'm expecting this to take ten minutes, about. Yeah. Okay. So I sense the presence of magic within thirty feet of me, and I'm doing it like uh, just. I don't know where Sam, uh, Fern is, but as close to the wall as possible to look to know if there's anything um, uh, around me in the other room. Um, Up to 30 feet, so six squares. I'm doing it as close six, to the wall as possible. Yeah. Six squares? It doesn't cover the whole. Yeah, no, six. That's right. Six. I'm doing it like here. A second. Um, where is that? Suspense of building up. Yeah. Um. Here comes Gasta. <laughs> nope. Oh. Please wait a moment. Max will be with you shortly. <laughs> I don't know, the Discord uh, kind of connected oh. me. Yeah, it also crashed to... for me. Okay. Alright, um... So... You... You picked a, a, like, two small aura. Um... One, uh... One from... Uh, well, both are kind of in the same general direction, so it's kind of both in, uh, like, wait. how do I do a, an arrow? Uh, good question. Uh, in yeah. shapes, raw shapes. No, wait, you guys, uh, you guys were doing, like, arrows with, um, 
Oh, it's you gotta maintain. Yeah. Like if I do this, do you guys see the arrows or? Nope. I see yeah. the arrow. Yeah, the no, green, but... green one is mine. Ah, okay. But yeah. how do you how do you make it right, so that other people see it? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, just, there is uh... one option. No, I'll, uh, I'll just. Oh, there's show to others, hide from show others. To others. I don't know if you uh, have it on. Uh, I'll just say that uh, you get a faint aura in the next room, and you get uh, also another aura that isn't exactly uh, like that wouldn't feel like it's coming from uh, the other room, but kind of in the same general direction, but a bit to the um, the uh, your right. But it's very fun. Both are very fun. So the first is where? Um, the first is in the next room. Okay. And uh, very faint, you said. Yep. And the other one is uh. In the same general direction, but a bit to the right, to your right. All right, there's two magical things in the other room. Might be objects, might be... Uh... Well, I've blocked the way-ish from that door. So we can safely go check in the other one okay so and... the door is made in on, on in what uh it's the same uh wooden door okay okay so i can see aura through uh if it's not three feet deep of wood i can see through it and i see the aura So I can see, like, if it's big, small. You see the aura of uh, entities or, uh, like, creature on the other side of the, the door? Uh, you sense it. Um, you can use your action to see a faint aura around around any visible creature or object that bears magic. And you learn its school of magic, if any. Cade. That's your... De that's your detect magic, right? Yeah. Or it's something else? It's detect magic. Um, yeah. So, um, well, I mean, it's, it's you the would... Biyakugan. Yeah, no, uh, I get it. Uh, but yeah, that, that's yeah. what I said. Like, it, you can see something on uh, on the other side. Biyakugan. <laughs> It's but it's not the Akugan, it's just Bakugan. Shut up. <laughs> um So yeah, I, I'm not sure what you you want more. Um uh, is the, well it's a is it like do I see like a form of, of a of a person or an object? And you say it's two places, so at, at this point one would be just like uh uh like a small circle and the other one because it's very far would be just a dot oh it's very far but it's well i mean it's pretty much at feet yeah it's at your reach like it's at your uh maximum uh, okay reach so a circle and a dot okay there's no there's no magic people in the other room Okay, do you want There's to change the door for stuff. traps Might or be traps, uh, if it's locked? Sure can do. So I check for the door for a trap. Yep. Again. Investigation. Investigation. Nineteen. 
you're fairly certain that it's not trapped and uh, it, it isn't locked either. The door's good. There's nothing. Good. Yep. So I'm going to step over Cade, open the door, peek inside the room. All right. So, um, so I the, the walls of this uh, bed chamber are covered with dra drafts of scarlet uh, cloak. Uh, the furnishing includes a small writing desk with matching chair. Uh, a comfortable looking bed and a wooden chest at the front of the bed. I'm going to check the the table if uh, we find a uh, paper. <laughs> With my Biakugan, I, I looked at the objects to our magical. Uh, at this point, you see that um, the uh, the chest at the bottom of the the bed is open. Um, the the magical aura is an healing potion that was left there, but everything else seems to have been taken. Okay. Uh, I found the paper. I'm gonna go through the room too. Uh, wait. So, yeah, you you can make an investigation on check on the desk. What was that? Yeah. What is in the? <laughs> Was it in the music or it's an effect that you you trigger? It's it's me, it's me, it's me. Okay. I got an eight for the the general room. I didn't look straight into that. I have a seven. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, um well, I mean you you find various like papers and notes that are star stacked ne neatly on, on the desk. Um they they're mostly uh concern, consisting on uh like written orders for uh apothecaries and alchemists um uh, for the nearby uh, settlement um for like ordering more materials uh for his workshop um you also find what is is there okay sorry go ahead This note. Mm. Okay. Lord Albrecht. I, I read it in aloud for everyone listen. My spies in Neverwinter tell me that strangers are due to arrive in Fendolin. They could be working for the the I don't know how to say that. Warbirds? Warbirds? <laughs> Dwarves. Dwarves, thank you. Uh, capture or kill them and deliver any maps to me with haste. I'm counting on you, Yarno. <gasps> Do not disappoint me. Yarno? Yarno? But Yarno is in the name of the... Of the, of the... It's Sildor's friend. <gasps> and, uh, He's not his friend, I think. <laughs> he got gut. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. I'm keeping the note. Do not disappoint me. That's a... What is that? That's an ant? So, Lord Albrecht. Who is uh, Albrecht? The Black Spiders. Is it the Black Spiders? The... The gang. The other gang. What the other gang? The... Who, who, who... How can I say that? The... The bigger branch, the red brands works for the black okay. spiders, as I remember, or I'm totally wrong. I think we didn't know until today. No. <laughs> Wait, who's Albrecht? Anybody uh, know that? No. I don't have any idea who is it. He's a lord. Yeah, some is there someone important? Do we know any so got, uh, Lord Hallbreak, uh, Mr. DM? Because I don't have any in my notes. Um, 
Nope, I don't think you have ever heard the name. Okay, good. Now we do. Wait. Oh, it's not this. It's not this. Oh, yeah, it's Yarno Black Spider's note. <laughs> So you, you had to deal with these pies. That 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 cannot be good. No, and Yarno is a. Do you say, uh, is, Trishan his friend? Wait 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 no no. Betray. Yarno is Lord Halbrick. No. No. Well, how do you entitle? You you entitle oh, you say right. Lord <laughs> Lord Hallbreck in the, the, the title, right. then you say I'm counting on you, Yarno, in the same Aldrich. freaking Yarno okay, Albrecht. Can... Yep. Okay, you're right. And there's a spider. There's a black spider in the note. Okay, so is it signed? So his name is Yarno Albrecht. Albrecht is the, the is only the person Albrecht? who can know that is uh, Seldor. Is Seldor, yeah. So we have news for Seldor. <clears throat> so and there's I a healing I... healing potion. You said. And I found the paper for right. You can write on the back of it, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's called healing potion. I'm going to take the or other paper. Potion of healing. Kevin. Sorry, Kevin. Is it potion of healing? I think so. Uh, 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 potion of healing, yeah. It's a you, 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 one? Can, you can never find it. Like, every time you're trying to find it, you, you, you have trouble. Well, I got Potion of Healing and I got Greater Superior Supreme. <laughs> no, it's, it's just plain old standard. Potion of Healing. Uh, I'm gonna go, yeah. since, since uh, there was no doors, that was like the end of the room, basically. I mean, uh, so you did a perception check, right? Of eight. Uh, just looking around for like, what were you looking for? Uh, sorry, no, I said perception. No, I was looking investigation. If there was I anything mean... else in the room. To be uh, found, loot or. So no, you you don't find anything else uh, in the room. Okay, and now I'm gonna say, do I find anything like on the walls that look suspicious or things around the, the, the everything? Make a perception check. Oh my god. Uh, perception, I got the four. Looks like uh, um, tapestry. It looks good. Mm. I mean, uh, you, you, you don't find anything uh, like spending like not too long. Just looking okay. around, you don't see anything. Okay. There was two things. There was a potion. What was the other magical thing? It's not in this room. You still see it, like uh, if if you are it's in, like here. Um, here. if you you are in um, the uh, just in front of the bed, you can still see it like through the wall to your uh, like right to your right. Okay, uh, I should not have well, known it, that because the range is thirty feet, not thirty squares. Three okay. feet is six squares. Okay. <laughs> so, um, well, I mean, if so I'll, you, I'll uh, assume that I don't know it. I don't know. 
Well, it, it, it's concentration, right? So stepping yeah. into the the room, you uh, so it's six square. You're saying? like if I'm here, six squares is still is still too far. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. So in the in the previous room, you wouldn't have seen it, but in this room, you see something. Okay, okay, c'est bon. All right. Can I look on the wall for something, to, for a secret passage or something? Yeah. Make a perception check. Perception. And uh, <laughs> since I just saw pretty much nothing, it wasn't a regular room, I'm going back in the other room and I'm moving the the, the, the things back where it was. Oh. I got 21. Oh, God damn. Right. Wow. So, uh, yeah, just uh, passing your, your finger to uh, on the wall, um, you you touch you touch like a, a edge like in between the two uh, like the two walls. And as you put your end on it, it seems to just like uh, push inside. I knew so, it. I'm just too point, dumb uh, to notice it. You, so yeah, there's a you notice a secret door that just seems to um, uh, open on inch. Well, I move this table Where? back. Do we go to the other rooms where <laughs> everybody else was? Was it a secret door? Here, there is a secret door. Well, I don't know. I'm in the other room. Oh. Is there a secret door? You guys are all in the other rooms while uh, Kate is... Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, we don't so know. Uh, good, good, good job, kids. You, you know. I knew you could do it. And I'm doing guidance again on him. <laughs> What's taking so long? You know, uh, so I'm going to move back the table. I know that you had a... Uh, a questionable life so far, but uh, you're redeemed. If you die, you, you, you're gonna die a good man. Yeah, thanks. So we go that way? Sure, let's go. Lead the way. You found it. Well, can you reveal the map? <laughs> to the, the, the... It's not open yet. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Gade, you found a secret passage. Now you can go down. Have fun. To that, I need to go pee pee. Mm. Well, we could yep, take a we... short break. Yep. Yeah. Let's take uh, five, ten minutes. And we'll be back right after. <laughs> oh. uh, try to hide my presence and walk slowly down the stair. It's going up, actually. No, it's oh, not. Man. That's going up? Yeah, like... Well, I mean, the, these were, why do I never have the right uh, pointer, but these were going down and these are going up, like it's small to big. It's not that hard. That's what okay. she said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can make it. So can I see it? Yeah. yeah. You can make a spell check and, um. <laughs> move uh to the top of the stairs where is it going i got 20. a natural 20 or... plus seven i got yeah i got a natural 20 plus seven 27. <laughs> all right he, he uh, <laughs> you feel uh, pretty stealthy so yeah you uh you, you reach the top of the stairs and um, it's pretty much two walls. So there's a wall, that's all? I mean, you, you, you can you can check. Well, I'm gonna check. Go for it. Reception? Mm-hmm. I got 14. Great. Uh, so yeah, you, you find um, you you find another hidden door that Good. leads to the next um, the next room. 
What do you want to do? It goes there. Yep. Well, that's how we get through. Oh, that's how we get through. So I'm still hidden. Uh, yeah. Can I try to open the door and look? Uh, open the wall? Yep. So as you uh, peek inside, um, I... you see. So you're, you're looking at, um, isn't it going downstairs? What's going upstairs? Going? Uh, upstairs. Going back up because you guys uh, went down. So you're looking at, um, so oh. this, this area to the north end uh, of a, the large natural cavern that you uh, pass by. Uh, but it has been finished with dressed stone block uh, and flagstone floor. Uh, several barrels are stored, stored against the walls here, along with a number of empty crates, uh, straw for packing, hammers, pry bars, and nails. The cavern continues uh, for some distance to the south. You can make out several passages that opens up uh, of the larger cavern. And what looks like a deep pit or crevasse in the floor, which you already know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it looks like a storage room with uh, tools to close the crates uh, and fill them with uh, some goods. Okay. So I get in. Do I see still the uh, the aura? Uh, yes. At that point, it's uh, true north. True north, like here? Uh, what? Sorry. sorry, sorry, true south. So here? Yeah. Uh, at this point, it's it's close by. Uh, so is it, it him? It, <laughs> no, uh, it it seems to be in like elongated shape. Is it moving? No. But I I thought it was around here. I never said that. Oh. So it's. Like, like I, I, w when here? you when you were in front of uh of the bed, uh, you could see it to your uh, to your right. To so I was like, here to the to the south uh, southeast. So here, is it down? Uh yeah, well I. Not when you're in this room, but uh, when you when you make your way uh, up the stairs, uh, it seems to like. Oh, shit. It's the wooden chair okay, guys, from earlier. There's there's a magical there's a an arcana an, an arcane or a just kind of below me. Mm. Uh, I think there's something in in the in that pit. Maybe we'll need to go back. Well, I've been there before. Can go back if need be. <laughs> Not yet. And later. Uh, can I look inside this room? If I see anything uh, towards the creature we were before, do is it still there? Um, no. At this point, it it would uh, it would have. Uh, like change place. Um, you can make a perception check. See if you can uh, see it. No, I cannot. <laughs> Got a nine. Oh, 
I'm going back into. Oh no, the rat disappeared. Uh, right is dead. Shit. It disappeared. Yep, vanished. Did you want to throw something? Yeah, I wanted to feed it to that beast. Okay. Because we ain't. Uh, uh, we ain't. We don't have meat anymore. I have a mirror. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I'm gonna go. You said there's barrels and crates, but the crates are empty, as I remember. Well, I mean, uh, you you can you can investigate if you want. Sure, I'll make an investigation check. Um, well, it's, uh, crates and barrels. I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, uh, like, uh, it, it's, it's mostly provisions and goods that, goods that aren't really, uh, valuable. Okay. Well, nothing to see here. So, um. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Nani? It's not party time yet. <laughs> oh. I'll continue to look for passage at the wall. Go for it. Make a perception check. Perception. Don't forget you have uh, guidance. Yes. You. Well, you got you got uh, the cleric of the dead touching you in weird places. I'm gonna use it. Right. And before I got sixteen. You um at, at this point you guys just like you don't even uh see Kate anymore, you just like went uh in 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 the corner and <laughs> you. but yeah you, uh, you, where do you go you um you you place your hands on uh the the door and uh, it it opens that that that's great i love i hate these kinds of things okay so yeah, do you have to... you, what do we see? What do we see? What do we see? You you find another what? hidden door in there. Can I like uh, do, do we see? A... What do we see? What do we see? Can I still check and peek? And the light. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, you, you can peek inside. Uh, okay. I'll I'll say your um, stealth check is still valid. Um, peek inside. If we're like all on the same square, so, so uh, guidance is concentration. Think? So it broke my uh, detect magic. Just FYI. All right. Um. So as you look into, uh, you see racks of weapons line uh, that lines the wall of this chamber, including spears, swords crossbows and bolts a dozen oh. a, do, a dozen dirty red uh, cloaks hang from hooks by the door there is a a, a longbow if i uh, are we in the, the next room or? yeah we're in the next room well yeah, yeah, like it's you went too far Um, you don't have to make, um, an investigation check, like, it's not hidden or anything. Um, there is, there is 12 spears, 6 short swords, 4 long swords, 6 long crossbows, and 8, eight quivers that hold 20 crossbow bolts each. I want a long bow! That's all I'm gonna detailed. take a longbow. <laughs> there's no longbow. There's uh, 
Did you say there, there was there's three weapons. longbows? <laughs> no, uh, there's long swords, short swords, light crossbows, and uh, and quivers, and spears. So it's a light crossbow. That's what a I have crossbow? already here. There is no lombo. <laughs> I'm going to check if I found it. Need to make an investigation check. Oh, for 13. Uh, you don't find any. No? <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, so I'm going to take the, the crossbow. The light crossbow. With bolts? With bolts. A, with bolts for your crossbow. Yep. All right. How many? It's uh, well. There's eight quivers that all each hold twenty cr crossbow bolts. Okay. So, so one quiver with twenty bolts. All right. Quiver and. Hmm. Can you hear me well? Mm -hmm. Okay. So a uh, bunch of a uh, bunch of weapons. Uh, can can I'm I look see for here, make a perception check for around here? I don't know if there's anything I can hear. With a with a ten. Uh. You don't really hear anything. Yep. So he told me he doesn't hear anything, so I decide to open the door. It's locked. Dang it. Cade! We got a little I'm door. looking for a weapon. Wait. Huh? <laughs> uh, like crossbow too? There was more than one? Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, there was more than one. There was um, six light crossbows. Yeah. Light crossbow? You can take five if you want. Uh, I can take one. <laughs> you can take one light crossbow with um, a quiver. I'll take a quiver as well. Alright. And can I do a check to see if there's a better short sword than mine, or? Um, I mean, a short sword is a short sword. Oh, okay. How many uh, short swords there are here? Short because swords? I because I remember we, ha we can uh, fight with two short swords um, i think if i um, remember well if you don't have two daggers you can have two uh short sword and uh, it's like have two weapons yeah but if, if you attack with if you attack with the second attack it takes your bonus action it takes, and you cannot add your modifier to um, the damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, re yeah, remember. Yep. yep. So, do you? I don't know what type of ranger you are. You uh, range right one? now. Elf. Uh, elf. A ranger elf. <laughs> right now, I'm a hunter. Yeah, but what's your uh, subclass? I have your, a subclass. Um... Give me a sec. Female wow. Eladrin Ranger. So can I like store my short bow and pick up my crossbow? Yeah. Two weapon fighting. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you chose two weapon fighting. Then you can add your ability modifier to the set to the match. 
of the second attack. Again? Yeah, because the two weapon fighting style for the ranger is exactly for that. To be uh. able to add your it... ability modifier to the damage. Okay. Did it still take the bonus action or she has uh, with one action she can attack it's, twice? It still takes it. Right, it's, a, it's okay. the bonus action. But I can add my modifier to the bonus action. Yeah. But that makes it so that it, if, because at some point you get multiple attacks, um, and the multiple attack, how it's worded, is when you make an attack action, you can make two attacks instead of one. So what that makes it is that so that there's no misunderstanding between the two attacks and the additional bonus action, which is an, an, an one additional strike. Okay. Sorry. How does that? How does it make it clear? Yeah. How is it called to uh, have two attacks with one action? Yeah, it's. Um, I don't know what you, at which level, but at, at a certain level, uh, it says like there you get a second an additional attack. Uh, I don't know if Rangers got it. I know Fighters got it. I don't know about Eldritch Fighters. Monks got it too. Monks, uh, where are especially yeah. in Kent. They have it too. Well, well, uh, fighters, barbarians. At this, at some point, they get an additional strike when they take the attack action. So they hit twice. So if it, it could be confusing, because uh, sometimes people would say, "Well, each time I strike, I strike twice," because you know, bang, 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 bang. But uh, this this eludes it because we get one bonus action per round or per turn per turn. So uh, it, it's like when you take the attack action, you get two strikes, and then you can use your bonus action to strike a third time or one last time. And the ranger is there for that. And some people laughed at it in the past. I'm not sure if uh, it's still good, but. Uh, Oh, that's... Sorry, I was uh, yeah, no, that's good. in the DM yeah, mode. <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. So are you taking short sword? Yeah, or I'm you... going to change my daggers for two uh, short sword. Sounds because good. Reasons, I don't know. Going to so. I'm going to let here my daggers. All right. So I'm moving to the door. All right. And can I look for trap? Yes. Make an investigation check. No, you know what? I'm going to keep it. Maybe I can sell the daggers. All right. Investigation. I got ten. All right. Um, you don't get the feeling that it's trapped, uh, but it. Uh, you all you notice that it's locked from the other side. Can you pick lock it, Cade? So can I pick lock it? Um, I mean, you can certainly try. <laughs> yeah, you can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> so I have uh, thieves tools. That I can uh, use. Guidance. Look, uh, I've seen people do that kind of stuff before. I just want to say again, you're full of talents, and I trust you. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure your uh, your tombstone is 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 all cleaned up every year. <laughs> I'm not playing stuff. No flowers. Thank okay. You. <laughs> Uh, and I'm I'm uh, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a dexterity check. Uh, dexterity plus, uh, check. 
proficiency modifier, so I think it's plus three. Unless uh, at level three it changes, but I don't think so. You're proficient. Um, I got expertise on thieves tools. Yeah. But so your yeah. proficiency bonus is double for any oh. ability check? With thieves tool? For two chosen proficiency. Uh, what? Yeah, I can choose tools and uh, apparently I got that for stealth too, so I guess I uh, yeah. rogues have doubled the whole my role. Skill <laughs> checks for rogues are really good. It's like, it's, yeah, it's reliable talent or proficiency uh, bonus, something like that. They just double your bonus. Let's go. <laughs> so so you, it, it's going to be the same plus as your uh, stealth check. Uh, wait, no, because still wait. is adding dex to. No, but he, uh, he just adds the he doubles the proficiency bonus, so he rolls a d twenty, d twenty, and adds twice the proficiency bonus. The stealth is adding dex to it. Above that. Oh, okay, right. I see. Well, I mean, no, it's a stealth check for the TF tool, so it's a stealth check, so. Uh, it, no, Thieves Tools it, is it, not it, a stealth it, check. No, sorry, it's a dexterity check plus your proficiency modifier for, uh, multiplied by two. So it's a de okay. it's already the roll plus your dexterity plus the proficiency uh, multiplied by two, which is the same as its, its stealth check because it also took it for stealth. The, the the thing about uh, multiplying the proficiency bonus by two, he took it for stealth and he adds it for TF two, so it's the same plus. Okay, I didn't know. That's why I have plus seven doesn't... for stealth. That's all. Huh? Yeah. Okay. But I didn't. I did, I never related Thieves tools to a Dex roll. That's you why. Know? Nope. It's just tools. It's a. It's like a brewery kit. Like it, you just, when you use it, it allows you to do certain things. And if you have proficiency, if you don't have proficiency with those tools, you just make a flat D20. If you have proficiency, you add your proficiency bonus. But like it, here, it just says like, uh, if you read the tool, lock, it says... the door can be. So like pick the, the, the door is, uh, it can be picked with thief tools and a successful dexterity check. And a successful de dexterity check. So but it's it's still a dex check. Is it the same it's DC? It's just a straight roll. Same DC as what? But you, you see, so it says in the, in the thing, it says it can be picked with thief tools and the successful de dexterity check. Yes. That's so the weird. DC for the DC for it, uh, 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 but they do the same thing in critical role. Like when he picks a, a, a door, it's TF tool plus a de dexterity check. I'm pretty sure. Okay, it just doesn't say it in the Thieves tools description, so I find it weird. May uh, maybe it's me. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. It's just for my own. It's for my. It's for me actually, because I maybe I've been playing wrong. <laughs> oh, tools can pick this luck with a successful dexterity check. Just a straight dex. Well. Oh yeah. But he's proficient with the tools, so plus the modifier, and then he has the the other thing on top that doubles exactly. the, pro the proficiency. So it's a so, dex, it, it's a, a roll plus seven with all the yeah. the thingy. So I got thirteen plus seven twenty. Nice. So yeah, you uh you and, and around. you got guidance if you want to use it. Should I use it? I got twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're fine. Maybe not. So, uh, 
so yeah you, you fill around with your uh, tools for uh for some time like you, you need to kind of uh carve a hole in the door because it's in the other side and uh like kind of dig in it to reach the mechanism and um, play around with it so that you you're able to um uh like latch it open and uh you've successfully unlocked the door So I'm still hidden. Can I just speak yes. through the door? Yes. All right. So as you um, open the door and pick in it, being stealthy. Um, so what you see is uh, three large stone sarcophagi stand within this dusty crypt and propped up against each sarcophagus is a human skeleton clad in bits of rusty mail. False columns along the walls are carved in the image of the spreading oak trees. Uh, the double doors in the southeast corner are sheeted in tarnished copper plate. Oh, it's there's, a crib, there's some circle for guy. Yeah, it's a. Holy moly! I, I would never would have expected that. I um, so Matt, you're the cleric here. Can you tell us anything about these? Are they good? Are they bad? Is it a fuck? Is it a normal crib? Is it a bad crib? Is it? I... <clears throat> um, I'm just looking around and, and um, I will try to I don't have wait uh, I asked to Semat, I have holy water. Do you need it? No, actually, uh, I never really got into these um, unholy places. Uh, can I make a... A check of some sort. <laughs> I don't know. It would be a straight wisdom or something, but just to feel like I, I just I just take my uh, my holy symbol and I pray. I start praying and con focusing and pray to Kalimvor to uh, um kind of guide me towards a situation like this where I never really encountered some uh usually you know usually it's a cemetery usually it's like i've never encountered a tomb that was profiled like this. well it's not profiled right it's not not it's just catacomb so for, for me it's weird so i'm, I'm kind of i don't know if i need like i just want to know if the, the dead I'm trying to trying to know if the dead here are at peace. By being on the other side of the door and then not seeing them? Oh no no no. He sees them. Don't don't he see them? Well I mean it, it Kate made the perception check being stealthy oh, and I'm opening uh, the door. Speaking. You are? <laughs> yeah. Alright. So um so yeah, as you open the door, uh, the, the skeleton notice uh, your presence, and they are just gonna attack. Oh, there, there are skeletons. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, th I th sorry, I didn't hear there was skeletons. I thought it was like tombs or circle for guy. 
The, skeleton there under. Is, but there, uh, there is skeleton standing there. Oh shit, turn on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but they're just gonna run at the but end. You, but, but you opened the door, so we're gonna roll in shit if, because as soon as you... Uh, oh yeah, I opened the door. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, alright. They, oh, okay. they are gonna oh, oh, oh. Uh, attack. Mm -hmm. I don't have turn on... Oh, do I? Features... Ooh. Channel Divinity. Uh, yeah, it's in Channel Divinity. 18. I got a 16. 16, 17. 18, 18 for Tamara. Uh, what did you say? Okay. 17. <laughs> You're all uh, following each other. 16. Um, Turn on dead. And we might have to like move you guys so that you're not all standing on each other. Uh, but also oh. like burn your 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 past. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I busted in. I busted and, in. Uh, okay. I'll just put you guys like this. Uh, well, well, technically, Cade was between my legs. Yeah, but again, you can't really, you can't really be standing on. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. The same. Okay. Uh, so, Samad, did you roll your... Yeah, 16. What? Nice. Damn. But they rolled 19. Goddamn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Every time I make a sound, there's Alex like... <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Um... Battle music. Ha la la, undead, undead, undead. Maybe I should have oh. visited the shrine. So as soon as you burst the door open and uh, make a uh, step inside the room, you just fate like you just came right uh, face with um, the the Puxis or like. The, the middle part of the, the skeleton right in your face and Don't you look, look up well I mean the um, I don't mm. even know what that bone is called the, the six the hips yeah. the hips yeah anyway okay. um and so you look up and it's gonna take an attack on you what is um he has a short sword it's 20 to it. Wait, the the skeleton have us us. That is you, Samat. 20 to hit. Yes. Yep. So it's 1d6 plus 2. It's 6 damage. This one is gonna move 10 feet here. Fuck! All the all once I'm gonna dead. Um, and he's gonna attack you with his short sword. Also twenty again. <laughs> it's seven. I have <laughs> seven hit points. Uh, it's the one thing I did today. One and one thing I did. Right. Uh, the other one is just gonna like position it Throw a bone. here <laughs> and <laughs> shoot you bone. with with his uh, short bow. Oh, he have a short bow. <laughs> but you wanted a uh, long bow, not a short bow. God damn it! <laughs> it's another twenty. <laughs> I'm going to take that short bow. <laughs> uh, when you finish. And it's one d six also. It's four. Ow! That's 
and their turn is going to be Tamara's turn. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Cure Wounds in uh, Semat. Cure Wounds, is it, is it a distance? No. Is it a you range spell? Touch. Yeah, I have, to, have touch. to touch. I can, I, I, I'm going to advance. I can advance there. Can you? Yeah. yeah. So you would have but to, it would go be to go here, here though. Here? Okay, well, I'm going to advance there, and I'm going... I think I have to touch uh, him, mm -hmm. right? Touch him. So, yeah. And I'm going Why are to you go stepping on my head, you goddamn hell? Oh, that feels good. <laughs> and it's a uh, D8 plus 2. I have to roll it? Oh, nice. he has to roll it. No, it's you. Hey. Me? Okay. Uh oh, wait. Where is the fucking D8? Okay. Seven. Nine of... Uh, nine of... Oh, hell points. yeah. Never knew enough could make me feel that good. Just um, keep fighting. You just keep fighting. <laughs> uh, do you have a... And I'm going to stay there. Do you have a bonus action? Oh, um... Can you put the turn order? I did. Uh, I, I only, only see, see the, the mobs. I only I see sky. Oh, yes. I can use a uh, misty step for uh, make it like a teletransportation to tear if it uh, without the. Uh, uh, Without triggering the reaction. Yeah, exactly. So I'm That's going to use that. That's a bonus action? Yeah. It can use it like a bonus action. It's a spell. Um, how many times? It's one per action. Once per okay. day, I guess? Yeah. Let or me per short see. rest? It says uh, casting time, one bonus action. Uh... Oh, it's a second. Oh wait, it's a second level spell. It's a second level spell. Once per short rest. Once per short rest. Okay, just I have just once. So you're using it. Uh, uh, no, I'm you can to do stay this there. once per short rest. But does it take a, a second level slot, or it's just a, no, a spell? it's. It's a uh, it's a special spell that you can use once. Exactly. Okay. It's a special ability. Yeah, but uh, I I don't need the slots for that. I think once per sure. Just uh, no, yeah. I'm I'm not going to use it uh, here. I'm going to stay there. Right now. Okay. Yep. I was thinking I can use it twice. I don't know. I don't know. You gotta think that. There's other people behind that are coming in. It does not take a spell slot. Because you don't have second level spell slots. No, I don't have it. Yeah, no, you I only have it. first it's, level it's... spell slots. So it's once per short rest. Okay. Good. So it's my turn. Do you, want that... Do you want that I move? For make a space, or uh, or I can stay there. It's up to you. I don't know. Well, then I'm going to move here, but I think they're going to attack me, right? Yes. Well, you can miss this step. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use miss the step then, <laughs> and I'm going to move five, ten. Here, I think. For, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yes, here. And right. that's it. That ends your turn. Uh, it's Kate's turn. Uh, can I shoot through Semat without disadvantage? Or? Uh, yeah, or you could so. flank him as well. No, oh, but I can do my sneak attack if... <laughs> If uh, you yeah. another enemy of the target is within five feet of it, yeah, but 
If I don't, I can shoot him with my crossbow. Is it better? Yeah. Oh, ID8. It's 1D8 instead of 1D6. But you don't have advantage, so it's a, it's a trade off. But I don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is within 5 feet of it. No, 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 it's just advantage. Adventures give you twice the chances to hit. Yeah, yeah you can still miss. That's what you can still miss. Yeah, 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 okay. But it's just that if he wants to flank, he, he will get an attack of opportunity to, mm -hmm. to go by one. Oh, that's right. Uh, sorry. That's right. Shit. But you could use this engage as a bonus action. <laughs> So if you want to do it, you can still, uh, you still have this uh, option. What's this engage? It's uh, it, it's an action that allows you to move without taking a text of opportunities. But you can use it as a bonus action since it's easy. Yeah. Mode. But I got fancy footwork. What's that? What's that? If you make a melee attack against a creature, that creature can't make opportunity attack against you for the rest of your turn. <laughs> but but, it, but in I order to, to get attack. into flanking yeah. position, yeah, I, you can. So I'm just gonna try to shoot him with my crossbow. Make an attack roll. Because I still have one d4. Or I didn't use, or it's gone. Uh, blessing? Yeah, the blessing from Samad. It's not blessing, it's. Um... Uh, yeah, you still get it. Because no, yeah, it's still not blessing. Oh, yes. wait, I need to make a concentration. Didn't you got hit? Twice. Yep. Technically. You got hit three times. Twice. Oh, three times, no, three times. Three, three times. times, that's right. So it was... I try to remember the numbers. It was... Six, seven, and four. Yep. Okay. So what's the DC? I never remember. I'm a DM and I never remember the fucking... It's either it's ten... Or... Um. It's the damage, the amount of damage, or ten. I think. Is it? That that would make sense. I think so. Yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah, I think that's. Uh... It's the low, the highest one, or the lowest one. The highest one, I think. Probably the highest one. Let me. Constitu Constitution saving throw with no way. Oh man, Na I got a natural 20 for the first save. <laughs> I got a 12 for the second save. And I got a 19 for the third save. So you get the guidance. Mm -hmm. Good thing I got constitution. Taking damage. Whenever you take damage while you are concentrating on a spell, you must take a constitution saving throw to maintain your concentration. The DC equals 10 or half the damage you take. Half the damage. Or half but the whichever damage. Whichever is higher. It's the highest whichever one. Whichever number huh? is higher. Yeah. Higher. Higher. So That's it's right. 10. It's very rare it goes above 10. That's what I remember. <laughs> okay. All right. So every time you get hit, you have to... He has to do that, yeah. I got two. Well, if you use and... it, if you use it, I don't, I'm not concentrating it. Because it's for one roll. <laughs> but didn't he use it to... Uh... Like, pick the lock? No, I got like... Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. you didn't. Yeah, plus you got so high that... Uh, yeah. You risked... Yeah. Alright, 
So but what's I wrong? got two, two plus five. I got seven. Then if I roll four, I uh, got like eleven, and it's not gonna hit. So are you using it or not? Nope. So seven to hit. Yep. It misses. So as you uh, you load your new crossbow that you just uh, looted from uh, the room and try to like uh, as Sevat like burst into the room and skeletons just start like bashing on him. Uh, you uh, attempt to shoot past it, but Samat got like pushed onto you, and you just uh, uh, shoot in the ceiling. And is that your turn? Did you use guidance or not? He didn't. No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. What I thought. Yeah, but... Do you have a bonus action you can uh, you want to do or you want to move? Like I said, you can move past the skeleton and use uh, disengage. Disengage? Do you have to yeah. roll something or you can just pass them? You can just pass them. Okay. But disengage is something. It's an or action. you could hide, or that you could you hide can. using your guidance. What is bonus action? Well, I mean, because he, it would be hard to hide where he is right now. True. Okay. So can I move near the coffin here? Yeah. So you, so you just uh, f fly, uh, jump uh, on top of Semat and pass by the skeleton using your hand. Another engine. one. I'm uh, not. I'm not a stepping stone, you know, guys. Fuckers. It's always the same one. <laughs> uh, all right. So that goes to Fern. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in here and help me, man. So, I'm, I'm getting pounded over here. I'm going to position myself here. Ah, oh, that's great to see you. What's up? And... Do, 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 do. What am I doing? Am I doing that? Uh, might as well. Might as well. Uh... Wait, I have to think of stuff. Just to make sure. Okay, that works. That works. So, I'm gonna look at this one that is right in front of Simat. And yep. I'm gonna say, you're going down first. And I'm gonna cast True Strike on him. Two strikes. Nice. Uh, you point a finger at the target and range your magic grand. You breathe insight into the target defense. On your next turn, you get advantage on your first attack and roll against the target. Provided that the dispel hasn't ended. It's a concentration. It's a so cantrip. You, so you do it as an action on your turn, and then it gives you advantage on the next? Yep. Only for you, or? Just for me, yeah. And only once? Or on uh, wherever you have your concentration? Uh, is it? On your first attack, it doesn't say if it's... Uh... When does it dispel? Because it says unless it's dispelled. Well, it's a concentration. And it's uh, duration, concentration, up to one round. Okay. Yeah. Good. But, uh, I think...
As a bonus action, can I still hit? Or that's pretty much my action? Um, question, question. Do you, have, do you have something that let you hit as a bonus action? It, it, there should be a section where you have bonus action. In yeah, it's only two, two weapon fighting that I have. But I don't have two weapons. So it's pretty much useless, my bonus section. <laughs> yep. Because I have a shield. As weird as it is. So. Well, you're a fighter. Yeah, I know. I probably should have gone something else than a fighter in that case. If I wanted a shield. Uh, that's it. If you wanted a shield? Yeah, I wanted a shield. But, but no, I have, you you I have a shield. No, but what did you I, say you should have gone uh, elsewhere, uh, else than a fighter? Well, having two weapon, else. two weapon fighting with a shield, it's pretty much useless. Oh, you you have two weapon fighting. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you can uh, do um, you know send coffee to your DM and fix that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Could be arranged. We'll fi we'll figure it out. Um. All right, so that's your turn. Yep, that's my it's turn. It's good. You're it's good. You're a tank. It's very good. You're a tank in <laughs> this situation. Yep. Then up. And you're up. Yo. And turn oh. undead, motherfucker. Turn that fuck these undead. Channel divinity. So I'm taking my uh, what's my holy symbol again? <laughs> Forget. Fuck. Oh, shit. It's uh, I think it's kind of a small coffin, given you. Oh. You go on. Go on. What happened? Is it? You were gone. The second time. No. It's what is it? It's a, it's just cool, I think. So it's I take my coal and I brandish it. No, I don't think it's. Well, for me, it's for me, it's, it's a fucking skull. Um, so I brandish it, and I say, "Kill him, or shall banish you, motherfuckers!" And they have to make a wisdom save. They? Yep. Just All undead within thirty feet of me. Hmm. All three. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Wisdom. Ooh. Nope. First one is the four. So the one right in front of you. This one is a four. So what's your spell DC? But do they I'm take damage or do they just run away? I think they just run away, if I remember. It's wisdom thirteen. Alright. So this one fails. So what happens uh, if they fail? They just they, they 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 must run from you or? Let's make all the saves and I'll tell yep. you. So the other one is uh, so this one is fifteen. Uh, no, eleven. Fail. And the last one is one. Fail. Hey. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> me. Not you, the undead. So now what? My job here is done. <laughs> um, so they are turned, so they have wait. Each uh okay, a turned creatures must spend its turn trying to move as far away from you as you can as it can. And it cannot willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It cannot take reactions. It cannot take reactions, so no more opportunity of attacks if it is turned. Uh, for its action, it can only use a dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action. So they, they basically can... like. They cannot attack with the 
They're, they're basically CC'd for the whole round. The dur duration, one minute. So for their whole fight, um, they are turned. However, however, I'm sure there's fine lines here. Uh, they probably make a wisdom save each turn, or...? Or, uh, okay, it's turn for one minute or until it takes damage. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it would have been too easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as soon as they so run the, away, the... we take opportunity of attack if we hit the... That's the, right. The, okay. Well, they, they can't do anything, basically, unless... Uh, and it's like fear and wow. But that lasts for the whole round, right? So if you hit them, they you break the fear. But they, unless other than that, they can't do anything other than just run. Okay. Um. So the the basically what happens is that this crystal skull uh, emits that that's kind of twilight light, and the uh, the the mouth of the skull opens, and it just there's huge uh not uh like um like there's a twilight like vibrance and brilliance that just makes a big boom and they they start shaking and running away all right um why am i there <clears throat> So that was for my action. All right. Uh, I have as a bonus action. Oh, it's a second level uh, spell. I will keep that. So I'm I'm gonna. I'm I'm gonna move. Uh, can I move? So they're gonna they're pretty much gonna flee. So I'm gonna move here since I'm not scared anymore, and that's gonna be my turn. But if you move there, are they gonna flee the other way? Okay. That's a good point. That's that's a really good point. They're gonna flee from me. Yeah. So I gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm gonna do is stay here, I guess. Yeah. Where do we want do we want them to go? <laughs> we just want them to flee as far, and uh, as soon as they get try to get out of my range, I'm gonna take an opportunity okay. of attack. Right. So I'm staying there. Yep. I'm staying there. All right, so that Here finishes that. your turn. Yep. All right, so I'm next there. is the skeleton turn. So they're just going to start like uh, walking aimlessly. Well, um, whoa, whoa. if one gets out of my range, I'm going to try to oh, hit yeah, it. True. Yep. But if so... you hit it, uh, the, the spell uh, goes out. So, so yep. in the next yeah, turn. Yeah, we have to focus fire on only one. Well, oh, uh, okay. I, okay, get it. Yeah. As so, for myself, uh, I'm gonna focus on one. So just try to keep track which one it is. All right. So uh, this one is gonna just move in the corner and take uh, the dodge action. To dodge this who? one. Well, it's just that you have disadvantage on attack this turn. Okay. Um, this one is gonna move also. Remember, in the it can only make the dodge action if it has nowhere to run to. So if they're on the the corner, as far away from me as possible, then they can take the dodge action. Yeah. Cause uh, there's like there there is no space for them to run, like in thirty feet mm -hmm. of you. 
So they just can go to one corner. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Oops. This one is also going to move. Uh, so he's leaving your reach. Do you want to take a... Yep. So you're going to take your reaction. Yeah, opportunity of attack. Boom. And I got a 16 plus. Hold on. Uh, 20? Yeah, 20. All right. Uh, that hits. It's a 1d8. Five points of damage. Great. Um, so at, at this point, can he attacks back? If he was moving away and he took his reaction to attack him and he took damage? Mm. He didn't take his action yet. as soon as he takes damage it drops the um that's right so he, he drops he... it fear so as you as he's pass, passing by you and you take your reaction to just slam your armor in the back of, of his head he's gonna shake shake it off uh like the uh the spell and turn around slowly and look at you and took his take a swing with his sword all right it's 20 to hit. Uh, do, do, do. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to pop a shield. So that brings my DC, no, my AC to 23. It's a reaction spell. But you already took your reaction. Oh, right, I did. Uh, do do. Sure, it hits 20. It's seven points of damage. Okay. And this one is going to. Um, run from Samad. Uh you don't have a reaction, but uh Kate I don't have take one it. if you want to take it. I don't want to touch it. It's focused fire, so right now this one's gonna die before we do anything else. It's not I I'm asking Kate. <laughs> I'm not oh, touching sorry. it. Alright. Uh, I could have done it too. Could have asked me. Sure. I forgot to ask you. Um and he's going to take the dodge action also. And that's it for the skeleton. So next up is Tamara. So you attack this one, right? That one, yeah. You know what that means, okay. right? You know what that means. So I'm going to attack them with, the, uh, with my new crossbow. So... Um... Uh, I want to. I, I I have holy water. If I put in the in the in the arrow uh, a little bit of holy water, that make some difference. Um. It. Uh, that's a good gonna make your to arrow mention. wet. What 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 does the holy water says? Okay. You, you throw the bottle and uh, you hit. I think it's kind a... of. Yeah. Some kind of oh, oh! I have to throw all the water lakes. Yeah. Yeah. As an action, you can splash the content on uh, this flask onto a creature within five feet on your of you, or throw it up to twenty feet, shatter it on impact. In either case, make a ranger uh, ranged attack against a target creature. Treating the holy war as an improvised weapon. If the target is a uh, fiend or undead, it takes 2d6 
radiant damage. Okay. Maybe, maybe it would be if you flank him, you get two attacks on the skeleton, right? Um, Your dual weapons. So I'm going to throw the barrel. And... Uh, I have a quick question to Fern. Your armor is bludgeoning damage, right? Yes. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Skeleton and piercing them. Yep. <laughs> you huh? you cannot make a, a piercing damage in the skeleton, right? Well, we don't know that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we truly don't know that. Okay, so I'm going to take the bottle and I'm going to throw it. So I am 20 feet far. Uh, yes. 15. 15. So yeah, you can, uh, but I, I'm not sure how the plus for the hit works for a improvised range weapon. Do you well, know it by, by heart, Joe? The what? The plus on the hit. Stop it's looking at the... Attack, so Dex. At the what? So I have to roll this by... the string closing? So you uh, do a, a roll a d20 and add your dex modifier to okay. for the hit. Okay. Alex, stop looking up stage for monsters. <laughs> it doesn't say anything, by the way. Ten. Ten? Uh, yeah. Ten does not hit. So uh, you, hit. You, you, you throw your holy water and... Uh, you just miss it, like, by uh, a couple of... You're wasting a couple all of the water. What are you doing? And just splash what? on the walls. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> I just waste the holy water. Uh... <laughs> and I have no more actions, I think. Bonus action. Uh, because I... I, I... I do not attack with a weapon, so I don't have bonus action, so well, you can I will stay there. You stay there? Alright. Yeah. Okay, you're up. Uh, if I move there, are we flanking? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 So I got an advantage? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> so you're uh, shooting with. I'm your... attacking with my short sword. Short nope. sword? Okay. Short sword. I got uh, 16. That hits. So since I got advantage and I'm near an enemy, I can do a sneak attack. Yes. Okay. I got three plus three. And since I level up, my sneak attack now does 2d6. Six plus five, eleven plus five, sixteen. Nice. How do you want to do this? Hey. Can I just <laughs> slash through it and it broke in two? Yeah, so, um, so yeah, you, you just, uh, you don't see Cade, uh, sneaking up on uh, the skeleton, but, um, as soon as he takes a strike on you, Fern, you you just see a, a, po a flask of holy water like go through your eyes, and then the skeleton just fall down, and you see Kate behind it with his sword. So is that your turn? Uh... I 
this. All right. Next is Farden. Sup. Sup, sup. Sup. Sup, sup. Do 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 do. Since since uh since they are kind of uh, fleeing like cowards, I'm gonna move closest I can and I'm gonna cast again because he fled like a bastard true strike on this little patty all right that's it I'll put um, something just so we remember I'm bound uh, is that your turn? Yeah, that's pretty much my turn. Say that. Yeah. Your turn. Um. Oh, and by the way, I'm supposed to know when I cast True Strike. I'm supposed to have a brief insight into the target's defense. Um, okay. What does that actually mean? Is it <laughs> the only thing that it says or? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what is, um, what is it called? True strike. Sorry. Uh, true, 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 true. true strike. Strike, yep. Strike. If you want it with a heavy accent, true strike. True strike. True strike. Well, I mean, it's just kind of the flavor for the spell. You gain an inside on its defense, so you can have advantage on it on your next turn. Oh, do do I don't know what his DC is? Oh, come on, man. Nope. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, which one did you attack? The the corner one? I didn't attack one. anybody. He just Wait, uh, did you put two strike on one. He he put a spell on you. <laughs> put Kevin spell. referring musical art. <laughs> This is a first for me in 33 years. <laughs> I'm not sure where yeah. you're getting at with, with that. I'm saying that's what it does to be married. <laughs> uh, so which one is bewitched? This it's, one has uh, a true strike, but it only matters. applies to me. Okay. I, I, I put it on it. I, I put it, a marker on it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cast Sacred Flame on that. And I was looking at uh, <laughs> Tamara's sheet. I was like, why do I have Fog Cloud? That's strong. <laughs> so 60 feet, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. They have or he has? He it's has. One. It's a dexterity save? Yep. All right. Six. Takes five radiant damage. Good. As the as the skull just breathes holy flames that doesn't doesn't really burn for you guys, so it kind of goes through uh, fern, but through his chest. It envelopes the skeleton and cries in pain. Okay. And it stays in its cool, and now it just looks like Ghost Rider. No, Ghost, Ghost Rider is cool. <laughs> you need a jacket. You need a jacket. Alright. Is that your turn? 
flame. It's not yellow, it's not red. It's pure white. Uh, yeah, it's, it's my turn. Alright. It's the Sim skeleton. turn. It's the skeleton turn. And now he... Please! He can Please. attack. So, he, as it, it's burning and, like, he's screaming... Um, he's screaming? He's gonna take... Well, I mean... He's screaming Joe skeleton. Made, he, he made a very good um, impersonation of his skeleton screaming, so I'll say it's screaming. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and he's gonna take an attack on you, Fern. Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, I don't think that hits. Probably not. With disadvantage or something? 10. It's burning. 10 doesn't hit. So it uh, wouldn't swipe hit his... if I was naked. <laughs> we swipe at you and uh, you block with your shield easily. And this guy is just gonna uh, still, like, he's in the corner and uh, shaking, trying to escape and uh, take the dog dodge action. Rattle and boom. And. I don't know if I have something for Dutch. Like, yeah. Um, so it's Tara's turn. Okay, so I'm going to hit this guy with my sword. So I don't have my sword, more sword. holy water. Diamond sword, sword. So. Oh, fuck. Uh. 18. Yeah. 18 hits. Yeah. All the damage. Fuck. This is so much better. It's an 8. 11. Piercing damage. How do you want to do this? Hey. Uh, I'm going to just hit with all my strength. We're in the head. I'm going to smash it. So you, uh, it's with your sword, right? Yeah. So yeah, uh, you, know, you take the opportunity while he's like trying to hit uh, a fern to just uh, get close to it and purse his skull with uh, your sword. And the skull stays like uh, stuck in your sword and uh, it's ripped <laughs> off the body. And he, the, the, the rest of the skeleton just like goes uh, to the ground in a pile of bone. Yay. Is that your turn? Yep. Let's stay there. Okay, Cade, you're, you're up. Okay. Mm so he's still... Uh, what is it? Dodging? Yes. So you have disadvantage on your attack roll. What does disadvantage do? Uh, you roll 2d20 and you take the lowest one. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's why I have three. Well, that's why. I'm going to try to shoot him with my crossbow. Roll. Roll with disadvantage to roll twice, take the lowest one, add your it modifier. I got 19, plus 5, plus 4. I <laughs> got 19? Yeah, 12, plus 5. That hits. 17. Hits. Do I have? Wait, you do have uh, sneak attack. I don't have sneak attack. Why? Because uh, I'm not on an advantage roll. Yeah, but Fern is still next to it. Yes. So. 
You don't have the advantage with the sneak me. attack. No, because he's near the target within five feet, but the enemy, you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. I had disadvantage, so I don't have sneak. Oh, uh, if he has disadvantage, he doesn't have sneak attack. No, Shit. even if, or even if there's someone next to it, I thought uh, it overrides it. No, I would have sneak attack if I would have advantage. No, but if you don't have advantage, but someone is next to it, you still get it. So, wait. I get it. That's what I do. That enemy yeah. isn't incapacitated, and you don't have disadvantage yeah, on right. attack roll. So since he has his advantage, he doesn't have his sneak attack. Okay. Doesn't override. Because if not, I would always have it. Well, if someone is within five feet of it. Yeah. But it, yeah, that's true. Uh, but I got the uh, new it's thing that if I'm that you five don't feet need of it. it, you don't need advantage if you don't have this advantage on the attack roll. Yeah. All it's right. kind of weird, but roll uh, without sneak attack. Okay. So I got one d eight. Five. Plus three. Eight. Eight. Still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better than what I'll do. But I could have done two d six more. Come on. Come on. So uh, can I that's... be So that's two that's dead. It. Yeah, that's it. That's your turn? Yep. Fern, you're up. Samat, you're next. Well, hmm. since um, all of them kind of dies before I can do whatever I want with True Strike, <laughs> I'm just going to bash him <laughs> with a good old Warhammer. So, screw up spells. I'm just going to bash him. <laughs> Is he still True dodging? Spell. I don't know. I don't remember how. Uh, I don't know if it's the whole just once or. No. Dodge the. When you take the dodge action, you focus entirely on avoiding attack until the start of your next turn. Mm -hmm. Any attack roll made against you has disadvantage. If you can see the attacker and. Uh, and you make a dexterity saving throws with advantage. Oh, you would have made the the your dex save for sacred frame with at, uh, with uh, advantage. He would have made it. Uh, the the skeleton that you secret sacred flame uh, was using the dodge ash action. He would have oh, he, had ad yeah. advantage on dexterity check. Um, so yeah, you have disadvantage on the roll, uh, the next, okay. or turn. Uh, I got a double 11 plus, plus, wait, 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 plus four, so 15. Two. Nice. Yeah, if. 1D, the 1D, do I? So seven points of damage. How do you want to do this? I'll just uh, use his head like a uh, baseball with my Warhammer, just swing it as much. Bam! The head just detached from the body and just slams in the door. Wait, there's a door? Yeah, there's a door. Oh, there's a door there. Oh. And open the door. <laughs> Sorry? And it, it opens the door. No. <laughs> and that's it. That the, is you it. guys just decimated all the skeleton in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been avoided if somebody didn't like barge in there and do like crypt but uh 
And he also time. saved your ass, so I wouldn't say. <laughs> Are you saying that in game? No. Okay. <laughs> what I'm, I'm saying is good job, everybody. <laughs> we truly made a difference today. You're welcome. I just saved your ass. Speaking of my yeah, ass, I'm like missing that. half of my butt cheek. Somebody has <laughs> a, a band-aid or something? Um, uh, light? Wait. <whistles> so, uh, yeah, don't worry about your butt cheeks. <laughs> and I'm smacking you. On the butt cheek and uh, nice. healing you then with your wounds. <laughs> <laughs> you had to touch me anyway. So. <laughs> oh shit! Better making wins. I rolled the one. No. Nice. So it's a four. I, I heal you for four. That worst the the worst thing that things that I hate in this fucking game is rolling a one on these kinds of things. It's useless. It's not reliable and you feel like you can't trust your character. Man. It's D and D. There's better systems out there, but it's one thing I hate. Like let's say you didn't put your heart in that spell and he only heals for four. <laughs> <laughs> like I healed him for eight but my smack damaged him so it's down to yep. four. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, did you take the the healing on your character? Yep. So I'm gonna do what um, all good uh, Kellenborg clerics would do, and I'm gathering all the remains, putting putting them in the right place, and not taking care of putting it like reconstructing the skeleton. <laughs> Just, I'm just like taking a pile of bones, assuming it's it's the same good enough, the same, yeah. and putting you don't it even... in the sarcophagus, guy closing it if I can, and doing it for everyone and doing a little prayer. For... <laughs> some some sarcophagus just have like uh, three uh, like three arms. The other one has like. Uh, one leg. Too cold. <laughs> it's, it's all all mixed up. Uh, just like putting yeah. whatever you get and just making sure you get everything inside uh, those sarcophagus. Yeah. And uh, while he does that, uh, is it gonna take an hour at least? I don't know. Same up. I oh, can't anyways, take an hour. I, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> take a short uh, rest. You, it would not. Uh, it would not take that. We we can take a, a short rest, everybody. I'm gonna take right a now. short rest and you second wind. Um, eleven thirty. Shall we continue or keep going? Got a bus fight coming, I guess, or a huge scene. So. I think uh, I, I'm gonna cut it off. Uh, yeah. myself, but, but uh, I but think it can, would be a nice uh, time to. We can mm. uh, stay here and take a short uh, rest and let it for the next week. Mm. Yeah. It's gonna be a short rest of seven days. <laughs> 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 All right. But yeah, still uh, I'm uh, I'm taking a second win. So, so you guys, uh, yeah. So, uh, so you, you guys like Semat uh, is um, gathering the stuff, um, putting that in the sarcophagi. You guys starts uh, like just sitting in, it's sitting a down, sarcophagi. Sarcophagi. All right. I need to carry so. it to you. <laughs> Did you look it up or you knew it? 
No, I just heard Mercer say it so many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, um, yeah, as you guys uh, saw then, uh, we're going to end it here. When when we took a short rest, we uh, I I I return my spell slots, or is just when I have a long rest. Depends if you have an ability to get back spell slot on your short rest. No, I don't have. So okay. <laughs> I think it's a a feat from wizards to get spell slot on the short rest or. Um, I don't remember exactly how it's called. Okay. Okay. Great. Yep. It's pretty yep. good. There's a lot of uh, effects. There's really a lot of uh, sound effects there. Wow. I like the music today. <laughs> oh, you like yeah, it? it was yeah. It was cool. I'm I'm getting into the uh, this collection. I love that website, and it's royalty free, so you can use it to publish stuff. Epidemic sound. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. It's there for that, and you, there's a lot of filterings with the moods and jars, and, and there's a, a collection of sound effects that I <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> Thanks for uh, for that game, Kevin. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kevin. Yep. Thank That's you. Super, super, super cool. <laughs> and Max, you know your shit. You really Yo. know your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have it's one thing studying. to do. <laughs> that rough today, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's one thing I'm really happy about is that we're getting good at combat. And we're not waiting, like, come back and growing this quick. So yeah. it's, it's really, yeah. really fun. I like playing with you. I like nice. you. It's nice. Well, you like playing because you're not the DM, basically. <laughs> Some, sometimes it kicks back, though, and I, I need to, you know. <laughs> I haven't DM'd since a month. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, hor I'm horny for DMing now. <laughs> it's gonna be Thursday. This is when I sign out. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> All right, have a good night. Bye bye, guys. Thank you. See you next week. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.